Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the new Coach Payton Hobo Bag. If you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and start with an unboxing first. I'm just going to go over some more of the specs of this bag in more detail with you guys. So here is the Coach Payton Hobo bag right here. So this bag typically retails for regular price $400 Canadian, but I got mine on sale recently for 65% off. So the total price came to around $140 Canadian. And with tax and shipping, shipping was free, it came out to $158 Canadian. I ordered this online from the Coach Outlet website, but you can also buy it from the Coach Outlet stores as well right now. This bag comes in many different colors from pink to the dark brown signature print, green, like a sage green color, an icy white color, so many different colors. Um, this one I have here is the signature canvas in light khaki and powder pink. I absolutely love this combo. I think it's super cute. I just love the neutral classic CCC logo with the touch of pink. It's a nice refreshing take on the classic coach bag. So I saw this bag for the first time in the coach outlet store in person back in I think early January or so and I thought it just screamed Y2K 90s early 2000s vibes which I'm a millennial so I love that. And just a little fun personal fact here my very first designer handbag ever was actually a coach bag and it was actually like a mini shoulder bag, hobo style bag, just like this. And it was a salmon pink coach bag that my mom bought for me many, many years ago when I was like 15 or 17. So it was just super, super nostalgia vibes when I saw this. It just brought back so many happy memories. And to be honest, uh, other than that bag that my mom got me and another coach bag that my aunt bought for me many years ago, this is actually the first coach bag I've bought since then. So it's been at least 15 years since I've bought a coach bag. Actually, this is the first coach bag I've bought for myself. I've only ever been gifted coach bags, so that's interesting. It's just super, super nostalgia vibes for me. So if you are into Y2K mini shoulder baguette bags, then you will absolutely love this. So now I'm just gonna go over some of the details of this bag. So here is the front of the bag. Once again, it's in this gorgeous light khaki color with the Coach CCC logo print all over. There's also this gold Coach logo here that's risen in metal. It's super, super detailed and absolutely beautiful. The back of the bag is exactly the same, except it just doesn't have the metal Coach logo here. The bottom trim of the bag is the beautiful powder pink color. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite parts of the bag, just because it's such a subtle pop of pink, but any pink lover would really appreciate that. And as you can see, the bag is incredibly narrow. There isn't a wide, flat base or anything like that. It kind of just tapers together into this thin little piece. On the side here, we have the classic Coach Tag logo. It is detachable, and there's the back of it. The sides here are pink, once again, super cute. And just to give you an idea of how detailed Coach is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the Coach logo is actually embossed in there, which I thought was super, super attention to detail on Coach's part. Then we have the hardware. The hardware is extremely substantial. And once again, the Coach logo is engraved on either side, which is super, super detailed. It's incredibly smooth and feels very high quality. It does not feel like it's going to scratch at all, or at least not much. 
The top strap is just this beautiful powder pink color once again. And the zipper is pink. Here we just have the Coach logo again on the zipper. And it just opens up like this. Super simple, but super beautiful. So now I'm just gonna go over what fits inside of this bag. All right, so this is what I personally carry inside. I'm just gonna take everything out and then fit it back in and show you guys how that works. So the inside of the bag is just plain pink with one slip pocket here and the classic Coach Authenticity sign right here. So inside of the slip pocket, I like to put some tissues or paper towel and a larger shopping bag. It's just a plastic bag. And a flat hand sanitizer. And that all fits in there. Then I have a sanitary mask. I just throw that on the bottom. My Louis Vuitton key clay wallet. Next is this little kitty catch-all that I got from Daiso. It just says meow on it. <laughs> And I love this because it just carries all of my essentials. So I have here a NYX lipstick, uh, band-aids, hair ties, lip balm, scissors, etc. So then I just place that right on top there. Then I have my keys. And then my cell phone. And that's it. So as you can see, surprisingly for a small bag, it actually fits a pretty decent amount inside. And I've tried stuffing a little bit more stuff inside and it does actually fit a little bit more than what I showed, but I just showed you what I carry in it on a daily basis. And um, I think if you were to stuff a little bit more, it would be a little bit hard to maneuver. Um, it is possible, but I'm just letting you know that you'd have to dig a little bit more. So if you wanna use it in a way that you don't have to dig and it fits everything you need comfortably, then I hope that the amount that I showed was helpful to you in demonstrating that. So now I'm just gonna go over some of the pros and cons of this bag. So the first pro I can think of is that if you like Y2K, early 2000s or 90s style fashion, then you will absolutely adore this bag. Just the small baguette style shoulder bags. I grew up absolutely loving these as a young girl. So it just brings back massive nostalgia for me. Another pro is that it's very small and lightweight. It's not too clunky. Cause I know that some shoulder bags can be very wide and like barrel like. So if you like something flat that fits very comfortably in your armpit, then this is the one for you. It definitely never feels too chunky or bulky. It's very flat. You barely even notice that it's there. It's very sleek and minimal. There's not too much crazy, crazy embellishment or anything hanging off of it. No like belt buckle or chain or flimsy bedazzling. It's all very smooth and sleek. Other than this little tag, there's not much going on. Uh, in terms of like three-dimensional stuff coming off of it. And even then, this is detachable, which is nice. Another pro is that it can fit all of your essentials and a little bit more. So for a small shoulder style bag, it actually has a pretty decent capacity, I'd say. Another huge pro is the overall quality of this bag is absolutely fantastic. I haven't purchased a coach bag in many years now, and I can say that their quality's always been good, but this is top notch. It's definitely gotten even better over the years, which I can't say the same for other brands out there. The quality of the leather is very thick. It smells so good, and the strap at the top is very sturdy. It feels very high quality. The stitching is also very, very high quality. Normally, even with some of the most expensive bags I've bought, there's always some loose stitching, but I don't see any on this bag. The hardware is incredibly hefty, very shiny, and very, very high quality. And yeah, just overall, the quality is top notch on this. I hear a lot of people say this about Coach. They say that the quality is comparable to that of like Gucci. And I've actually recently gone into a Gucci store and saw that even a lot of the display pieces they had behind glass, had loose stitching. So I'll say even like for the price of this, it is not only comparable to luxury brands like Gucci, it might even be better. Another pro is that it can be converted into a crossbody very easily. If you just buy like a pink strap or any color strap that you like, 
and you lay this down, you can attach it to the two rings here and make a little crossbody bag if you wish. Another pro is that it's wonderful for spring and summer coming up. Super, super lightweight. It's gonna look so cute with so many summer dresses and flowy, fluttery cottagecore dresses. And the final pro I can think of is this super pink pop of color bright interior. I personally think that a bright interior is super underrated when it comes to finding a good handbag. If the interior is too dark, it is really hard to find my belongings. So I love how bright and spacious the inside of this bag seems because of the color. So now we're gonna go over some of the cons of this bag. So right away, the first thing that turns me off to this bag is actually the hardware. Now I know I just went on and on about how high quality the hardware is, and it is, but I personally, so this is less of a con and more of like a personal pet peeve of mine, I'm just not a huge fan of chunky metal hardware. This is why I'm not super, super crazy about Chanel, just because there's so much chain going on. I know a lot of people feel that chunky chains add a more expensive look to a bag, which it can, but I personally would have loved if the whole thing was fabric, just because it can get a bit tangled up, the chain, and when I'm just throwing it on, I don't want to have to worry about if the chain is tangled. Um, and it also adds a lot of weight because it's so chunky, as you can hear. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the hardware. Another immediate con that I noticed even in the store when I first saw it was the fact that it's so flat and there is no base whatsoever. Now, I definitely don't like a shoulder bag that's too chunky either, um, but just some semblance of a base might have been nice. Uh, just because I noticed that if you overstuff it, even the tiniest bit, like if I were to add one more large item like a hand cream, it distorts the bag very easily and there's not a lot of give because it's just flat like that. Another con is the zipper. I find the zipper could be easier to pull. It's not terrible, but you definitely have to like sort of maneuver in a way that it's flattened for it to go properly. If you're just doing it sort of quickly and willy-nilly, it gets like kind of caught, right? So not crazy about that. The fabric on the zipper feels like probably the cheapest part of this bag. Another con is this is very much a seasonal style bag. Of course you could choose to wear it in fall and winter months if you really wanted to, but yeah, just by the way that it looks, it's very much a spring summer vibes kind of bag. And this next one isn't really a con, but it's more of just a friendly suggestion on my part. But I do wish that there was just some card slots here or just something. Because it's plain here, it's just kind of like a waste of room. I wish that there was something there, even just one card slot, you know? But that's not a huge deal. So now I'm just gonna go into some mod shots with this bag. guys, that is it for my Coach Peyton Hobo Bag review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if it was helpful to you, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would truly, truly mean the absolute world to me to have you join my cozy little corner here on YouTube. And I also just want to say thank you so, so much for 500 subscribers. So once again, thank you all so much for watching this video, and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye!